Hello beautiful souls, thank you for joining me today for this beautiful weekly Twin Flame reading. It's going to be for the week of the 16th of January to the 22nd of January 2023. I do hope you're all having a lovely weekend and you are staying focused and you're believing and trusting in what you already know and you're taking good care of yourself. Um, so for this reading I'm going to use the Energy and Spirit Oracle. I haven't used this deck for a while. It's such a beautiful, powerful deck. And I'm going to see what's going on with the Divine Masculines first of all, what their energy is going to be for this week of the 16th to the 22nd of January 2023. I'll get some communication from the Divine Masculine's true self to the Divine Feminine. And then I'm going to go on to see what's going on with the Divine Feminine's energy, what the Divine Feminines are working through, what they're going to be experiencing and feeling of during this week. And... In this week, we do have that new moon in Aquarius on the 21st of January. So it's going to be a powerful week. And the last full moon we had was very, very intense and huge shifts occurred um, and still occurring right now. So it's going to be an interesting week. So let's see what's going to come through. Thank you so much to all of you for the love and support that you give me. I am so very grateful to each one of you. And if any of you guys would like any extra support, all the information about the services I offer is in the description box down below. And I do use the labels Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, because that's how I channel. Please don't be offended. Just put into your situation how it resonates with you. I do realise it's just energy. So what's coming through for this week of the 16th to the 22nd of January 2022 for the Divine Masculines? What are they going to be working through? How are they going to be feeling? What are they going to be experiencing? What's their energy going to be? Nice, clear message, please. What's really going on for the Divine Masculines? Let's see. Those, those are stuck together. So letting go of urgency, and that's 19, which is... 10 completion end of a cycle surrender freedom from the constraints yeah so they're letting go of <laughs> the old letting go of the urgency of things that really aren't important um and number 25 so that adds up to seven which is pure intentions manifestations creation and unconditional love two is universal power coming together and five is movement and change goddess of dreams vision intuition and receptivity so this is about the divine masculines really being open to receive holding their vision and it's showing them the third eye is activating they're holding that vision and trusting the third eye letting go of the urgency of everything else and um you know putting things in order what really is important putting love first in their life um and creating freedom for themselves instead of the the mind controlling say well this is they've got to do this they've got to do that they're letting go of all that and just being and you know going out into nature freeing themselves from this workload of overdoing it um and let's get one more many choices uncertainty confusion yeah 13 which adds up to four which is building on solid foundation and everything that they are letting go of this urgency of things that really aren't important is bringing solid foundation because it's coming from a place of unconditional love and one is alignment three is faith having faith in Working through this confusion is at times very challenging and it is part of a big part of this journey. Confusion, the doubt and the fear because we get pulled in so many different directions and that is because the ego comes in and attacks at times and really takes us off track of trusting in that knowing, trusting the love that we do feel within us because of the things that are going on in the 3D and none of what you know that's right for you, that feels right for you, that deep knowing, none of it's showing for itself in the 3D. 
which creates the doubt and it's like you're, you feel like well, what direction am I supposed to go this doesn't feel right that doesn't feel right I know what's right for me but it's not an easy route and the ego wants to have comfort he doesn't want to feel this uncertainty so let's see what's at the bottom of the deck creation and that's completion end of a cycle so we've got completion end of a cycle twice that's coming through creation it is a time for them to be creative soul expression something new mm. something new is coming in for the divine masculines this week and they're dealing with this confusion but they're going to get through this confusion because they're holding their vision really holding their vision they're seeing the truth the truth and the power of this love is breaking through this confusion um but it is uncomfortable when we have this confusion and what we're learning on this journey is to you know no matter what is going on outside of us and what doesn't make sense you know to our ego the mind <laughs> we've been pushed to trust our intuition to trust the love to guide us also when we're changing you know our schedule our routine of how we used to do things it does bring the confusion because it is new it's change letting go is when the ego does try and come in strong and say things you know that voice in your head saying well, should you be doing that because this needs to be done that needs to be done letting go of that staying in your truth being the love that you are takes strength courage it's inspirational to quiet that chatter and trust yourself no matter what is going on without anybody supporting you just you and god the universe the angels higher power whatever word you prefer that resonates with you the mind does bombard us with the past we try thinking too far ahead and that's when we have this chaos and conflict within us and everything just gets busy and we can't think straight. So they are being called to go into nature, <laughs> to quiet this confusion, to hold their vision this week. And by them walking away from things that no longer serve them, it really isn't important, like this workload. <laughs> That is showing that they're putting themselves first and they are, you know, they're open to receive. So I'm going to get some communication from the Divine Masculine's true self or what they'd love to share and express. So I'm going to get some messages from the Divine Masculine's true self. I'm going to be using Liz's deck, Dark Truths. From Liz, from Guided by Angels. Um, I'm only going to pick three cards from this deck and then I'm going to go on to the Divine Feminists because there will be a DM to DF that goes up a bit later. If you'd like, if you are a Divine Feminists watching and you'd like more messages of what your Divine Masculine would love to share and express, that will be going up tonight. So let's see what it is that your Divine Masculine wants to share and express and we can pick up the energy as well through this. I'm numb. When I feel dead inside, your love lights me up and I can breathe again. I'm worried. I'm so afraid that you will move on and meet someone else. It's keeping me awake at night. I can't lose you. So that it, this is what happens in this confusion when the, the ego's kicking off and they're in their heads. Huh? They get worried and they think, you know, that you're going to meet somebody else and you're going to leave them behind. I wonder, I want to tell you how I feel. I wonder what you would do if I turned up at your door, expect me. Mm. So they're thinking about how you would react. Are you going to have open arms? You know, are you going to open your arms, you know, if they were at your door? Or are you going to, you know, say, well, actually, I don't want you in my life anymore. So there's a mixture of feelings here that they're dealing with, which brings a confusion um, because 
they're thinking about the past and thinking about the future or about you know how things have changed and maybe things that they know that they've got to do in the future um this overwhelming but when they do think about you it makes them feel alive they come alive because the power of this love is just hmm, unexplainable but you know not being with you they just feel numb their life just feels meaningless but when they think of you, they just, everything changes. <laughs> so um, I'm insecure. You treat me better than I've ever been treated. And I know that you can give me everything. I want that, but I'm still struggling with my fears, mainly about not being good enough for you or being enough for you. It's my own insecurity that's holding me back, yeah. So this is what holds them back and brings the confusion. It's the mind. They're allowing the mind, the ego, to fall away. And when we do that, we do feel uncomfortable and it's very painful. But on this spiritual journey, the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine, you're both learning to always come from a place of unconditional love, being the love that you are not allowing the ego, your mind to rule you, to live your life in your truth. So allowing those layers and all those thoughts and just quietening what's been going on in your head and what's been so buried within you, letting that go is life changing, but is creating freedom. Is opening the, the gate of the cage and setting yourself free. So there is a lot on the Divine Musculine's minds during this week, but they're holding their vision and they're being, by this discomfort, by um, this overwhelmment, they're going to be going out into nature. They've been pushed and forced to walk away from all this chaos, to calm themselves down and to actually just visualise, trust their intuition no matter what's going on outside of them, the confusion. To see the truth without the mind ruling. So let's see what's going on with the Divine Feminines for this week. I'm going to use the energy um, and spirit as well. So what is going to be happening for the Divine Feminines during this week, the 16th to the 22nd of January 2023? What they're going to be working through? What are they going to be experiencing? What is their energy going to be? Nice, clear message, please, for the Divine Feminines. Let's see what's coming through. And January the 22nd is when... We come into the water rabbit as well, because for this year, since last January, I'm not sure what exact date, it's been the water tiger. So this is changing um, the Chinese New Year. So it's going to be the water rabbit, um, which is I feel is such a much more gentler energy, so much more peaceful with the tiger, with the water tiger, we've been experiencing like full on overcoming our fears. The fear has been right in our faces and we've been having to really work through it. Really work through it. So it is going to be a powerful week. Connections, 29, which adds up to 11. Partnerships, contracts, commitment. And this is about the Divine Feminine's, you know, opening up to receive, you know, new people in their life opening up to their soul family their soul tribe mm. new connections new relationships two is all about coming together in partnerships and nine is near end of a cycle completion and you know coming together and being happy people being in your life that are meant to be in your life and this is through you have it showing commitment towards yourself, knowing that you're worthy to have these new 
people in your life and this is about obviously you making the commitment to yourself is you opening up to receive your divine muscle because you are one Archangel Zadkiel, self-acceptance, compassion, forgiveness, and that adds up to three because it's number 21. So it's definitely things are coming together. You're coming together. People that are meant to be in your life, like I said, are going to be staying in your life. New, you're opening up to new people. And this is about acceptance of yourself, everything about yourself, feeling content with who you are, where you are, and what is being in the present moment giving yourself compassion of how you're feeling what you've been working through giving yourself praise and forgiveness of self and when you're doing all of that for yourself you're doing that for others anyway you can love others you can understand people that are around you and you aligning with yourself your true self the, so many people your soul family are going to come into your life new connections new so much new is coming into your life divine feminines so let's see let's get one more tapping the forces within yeah sensitivity and strength and we've got three coming through again so this is about having strong faith really trusting and believing in yourself honoring and respecting your you know that you are sensitive because the more awake, the more conscious you are, you 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 do get more and more <laughs> sensitive to everything that's going on around you, energy. And you're learning to protect your energy. You know, staying in your truth, not just tapping in now and then, actually staying in your truth and living in your life. And that force within changes everything when you're feeling good when your energy is in the right place your whole world outside of you changes and again that just is about your perception changing looking so differently viewing yourself differently with this self-acceptance viewing life this world so differently putting love into the situation and then that you're in that in your the feeling of love instead of having negative thoughts and seeing things and being so narrow-minded not seeing the bigger picture not seeing through the illusions we we, we create fear we, we we feel so differently and our energy is just radiating that out into the universe so everything that's been thrown at us and what we're attracting into our life is fear so when you're in the you know being the love that you are the unconditional love that you are just being neutral peaceful within viewing everything with love that force within you is so powerful because it's coming from a place of love and that's where you get strength <laughs> you find the strength within when you're being true to yourself so very powerful week for you divine feminines and this is number 15 archangel haniel joy blessings intuition yeah your life is going to be so full of blessings full of joy because you're trusting your intuition you're tapping into that beautiful love that is within you that's always been there but it's got so buried because of the layers of the fear the things that you've believed about yourself or what you've been told about yourself or just you know what's going on in the world society you've got caught up in that and you're moving away from it by just trusting yourself that is what's guiding you is your intuition that inner compass you're allowing that to come through and acceptance the power of acceptance changes everything and we open our hearts up to allow these new relationships in partnerships contracts just be beautiful friendships opening up to our soul family people that we're aligned with that understand us that can support us and for such a long time on this journey 
we do feel so lonely and we, we can't relate to people that are around us anymore. And, that's, and that is for a reason. That's all divine because you're learning about yourself in that time and finding strength to rise above what's going on outside of you, to always trust yourself and to have this beautiful relationship with yourself and with God with our power. Because you're feeling good within yourself, letting go of this comparison and, you know, thinking that you've got to be a diff in to be different than what you actually are because of this self acceptance. You're bringing in your family, the people that are meant to be in your life, and obviously you making this commitment to yourself is. You making the commitment to, commitment to your divine masculine, so you're you're moving closer and closer to your divine masculine because you're remaining in your truth. So it is very deep. I hope you're understanding because I am deep. <laughs> um, I hope you have a wonderful week um, for this January sixteenth to the twenty second, twenty twenty three. And like I said earlier, if you'd like more messages from the Divine Muskins, if you are a Divine Feminine's watching, that will be going up later. Um, have a wonderful rest of the weekend or day, whatever time it is, wherever you are living in the world. And if you would like any extra support, um, all the information is in the description box down below. And if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe, like and share, because it really does help my channel grow. And I'm sending you all so much love, my support, my strength and light, and I love you all so very much. See ya! Oh, what's your soul saying? Oh.